Tidy House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics putting a beat down on the San Antonio Spurs. 117 to 98, they win this game, and they do it without Chris Stats Porzingis. No Derek White in tonight's matchup. Eddie, how did the Celtics dominate yet again against the Spurs team? The game was over in the first half. They was up 25 in the first half. And, you know, if we want to, how we was doing a little bit, if you want to try to find something that you want to point to and say, hey, you got to get better at, because you always want to learn. And it's better to learn from a win than a loss. It has to be the third quarter. It's not letting your foot off the gas. You had a 25-point lead at halftime. You come get outscored by nine in the third quarter. I think, you know, the, the, the score does sometimes – make you play a different way, especially if you know you're a superior team. You know that you might not have to come out with that full focus from the very jump in that third quarter. They could make a little push, but you know you got that cushion and you're going to end up pushing past them and, and winning the game. But I would like to just see us in, in those third quarters, it becoming a habit mm. of winning every single third quarter. Like, that's uh, a point of emphasis for this team. Especially against a team like the San Antonio Spurs, who are at the bottom of the Western Conference standings. All right, let's send out to Abby Chin, who's with Luke Cornett after the game. Luke, thank you, O'Shea, as well. Second start of the season, and you draw the assignment of defending seven foot four Victor Wembanyama. What is the approach when you're dealing with a player with that kind of length? Uh, I mean, really just stay between him in the basket, and make him have to make shots. Uh, when you have just phenomenal athletes perusing behind you, you know you got a lot of safety with you. And um, it's weird because uh, I feel like we could be like a rap crew, but kind of like I don't know what that crew would be. I, I just be the baseline vocals, just to get him in the background. All right. Yeah. That's intriguing. Yes. No. Back to Victor. Yeah, you just try to make him make shots, and uh, I mean he's gonna make some great plays, and he's gotta keep weathering the course. Storm, weathering the storm. There you go. Yeah. That could be the name of your band. Weathering the storm. I feel like we got to get some puns in there, but I'd have to work on that for a little bit. Yeah. You guys were without two starters tonight, but with you and O'Shea, everybody, no matter who is out, you guys seem to step up and fill those roles, maintain that level. How much pride is that reserve unit taking that this season? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that we know we'll have to do throughout the season, and whoever's name's called, be able to fill in. Uh, you know, Derek was white, or Derek was out, and I, I summoned his abilities and got a, my first transition back tap steal of my entire life. So that was pretty electrifying. Uh, but, you know, we're just trying to uh, win the game at hand, and whoever's available, we're just going to figure it out and try to do that every single night. And I think we've done a great job so far this season. You guys have now won 20 straight at home, a pretty special run. And then as we saw here, how, how would you describe the vibes with this team right now? Uh, phenomenal. I don't, good vibes? Great. I don't really speak in terms of vibes. Uh, but I, we're just kind of focused on the day at hand and uh, winning every game. And, I try to, well, we try not to be too like, caught up in what the results are, and, but more like kind of holding ourselves accountable um, and knowing like every single game is an opportunity to either get better or uh, go the other direction. So I think we just take that responsibility of being a good team and um, just knowing that. Luke, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, no problem. The vibe's immaculate. This Celtics team having fun, as you can see right there in the interview. Scal joining us live at courtside. 20 straight wins for this Celtics team inside of TD Garden. Scal, what was your biggest takeaway after this one? Good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> Good vibes. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I think today I felt like the Celtics were like, okay, we're not going to run it. We're not going to run the score up. We're going to work on our execution. And uh, there's no, never in doubt in this game that they weren't just going to keep going. Even in the third quarter, when you see that run, Celtics were just on another level today. And um, you know, it's going to be tough for the Spurs to continue. It's fun watching Wimby, but I'm, I'm not sure. They're a long ways away from being like a marquee team. Eddie, how much are games like these against teams like the Spurs, who have only won seven games so far this season? an opportunity for the Celtics to tune up and correct the mistakes that they've made so far this season in past games. I think every game is a way that you could build on whatever you're trying to do, is build on your identity, continue to polish and sharpen everything that you guys are. Um, but uh, in a game like this, it's great for the others to get out there mm -hmm. and get some rhythm and get execution and, and play with different lineups and things like that because when it comes down to the playoffs, you never know. You know, foul trouble can, can happen and thing, weird things happen in the playoffs and you want to see what matchups you could use, what, what, um, you know, what rotation you could have, what guys mess with what. But then also, you want those guys to have rhythm coming in that you're going to depend. 
Peyton Pritchard, we're going to have to depend on him. We're going to have to depend on Sam Hauser in the playoffs. And it is going to be in crunch time. It's going to be in big time moments where they're going to have to, to show up. So these are the games that are great for players like that. You know, as a role player myself, these were games where you, you want to keep your, your, your tools sharp. Scout, what did you see out of those role players like a Peyton Pritchard, a Luke Cornett, who was in the starting lineup tonight? How were they able to help this Celtics team win? They were confident in what they were doing. They were confident that they were better than the guys they were going against, and they could do what they want to on the floor. If, if Peyton Pritchard wants to duck his shoulders and get to the rim, he could do that. Uh, you saw Brissett try to challenge Wimby twice. Like, I, you know, those guys just played with like a different level of confidence today, which is right up what Eddie, um, Eddie's saying in, in the sense of, if you're going to be in a playoff game, you better believe in your game. There ain't no half-stepping out here if you want to if you want to succeed in the playoffs. Celtics dominating the Spurs yet again. Hey, I thought uh, Mike was going to crash the live shot just it now. Mike like Norman was right behind you. I thought he was going to crash the live he shot of you guys. I thought he, he was. He should have with vibes. It, we we gotta, good, we vibes. good vibes. Yeah. I feel like you just learned a cool new word, Scal, because you keep saying the I word vibes. I don't know vibes. what vibes mean. What does that I don't, mean? No one knows what vibes mean, but we know what, it's, it's good. It's good. That's it's it. It's just That's a all. feeling. It's, it's just a feeling. Feeling. That's it. That's like, all you need to know. I'm vibing. Is that's what that's that, what I'm that doing is, right now? That is a good context yeah. as well. When you're vibing, everything everything is going good. See, we teach you something here on this program, Scal. We keep you, you young. I, I'll be vibing on Friday. Today I was just like, whatever. <laughs> I'm vibing on Friday though. When Jokic coming to town, Friday. I'll be vibing. Yeah, you Your will be vibing. The gas is uh, up. The vibing. The uh, vibes will be high that day.